Yelena, you're on the call, right? I found this ex accessory and was wondering how I can make it. You need, instead of a snap, you actually need two hooks here, just to make, like two tiny hooks side by side, to just to make sure it doesn't come undone, because that way you can, like if your hook is here, you can bend the hook and make sure that it is super tight over the bar. So that is for sure a change that you wanna make because you don't want to lose your jewelry. So I'm in the Latinscape program and bracelets, armbands. Okay, so I have a bunch of pictures in here that include comments on how I think they were made. Your picture, Yelena, is not um, too far off from this picture in that it's a bunch of stripes. Let me move that over. Oh, it, it seems like it has something hard to maintain the shape, mm -hmm. right? Because it, it curves. So I'm not sure like what can be used so it maintains the shape. Um, I would say, I would try boning for starters. So this line up the middle, wriggling boning would work perfectly because it um, can't change shapes and that way it's very stationary. Um, the problem is if you use boning and um, let's say this line comes all the way down to the middle finger, you aren't going to be able to move your hand. If it sits up on the upper part of your arm above the wrist, the boning would be fine because it won't be hard. So it seems like this one has a finger loop, so it sits like exactly on the wrist. Um, like on the wrist here or on the wrist? Oh, lower. Yeah. Lower. Yeah. Then boning would not work up the center, that's for sure. Uh, I just can't think of anything that can hold this curved line. Um, it has to be shapeable. But. Right. The, well, then you could certainly use two layers of um, bias tape. Teresa, when you have a, a minute, I have an idea. Okay. Go ahead and talk. Okay. So um, I can't see the, the bracelet thing anymore, but as I look at that, I've made hair ornaments before where I used a, um, basically a clear plastic and drew my design on them, stoned them, and then trimmed them. And that's great because your hair, your head's not bending. My head can't do what my wrist can do. Right. So you don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> but when I look at this design, you have that point in the middle that's a crisscross. And you could put a point of flexibility in that center so that you could have, you know, pick your design so it has a shape that gives you a crisscross between the vertical and the horizontal lines so that at that point it could be an elastic -y material and then you'd have a flex point for it just to, to move with your wrist. Does that make sense in my weird engineering way of saying things? Um, it makes sense to me. So what I'm also, Yelena, did that make sense to you? Cause you're the one that wants to to do it. But, but, then, but then it meant, um, so those curvy parts you're saying make it out of plastic and whatever is the straight part, use the elastic. Uh, I'm saying make the pieces of it like bones, but make a joint in the middle. So where the pieces come together, each of the each of the legs of it could be out of a material that doesn't flex, but at the center, you'll need something stretchy there so that it can have a joint, just okay. like our, our wrists have a joint. You okay. need a joint to allow the thing to, to lay flat, even when your wrist is bending back and forth. So then and you, it, you, we could use boning for the upper center spine, basically, and then the last right. little bit would be elastic because that's the part that has to bend depending on where you're going. Um, and it does kind of look like somewhere down here, it certainly bends because that's where it's flat on the table. So that would right. work to do two thirds boning, one third not boning, basically. Mm -hmm. um, 
Another yeah. option, these right, right. We will reduce the sodium, uh, but those parts that are curving, so from the uh, finger loop to the right and to the left, what would you use there? Yep, this one. Um, you could cut it out just like this. This, I'm still on module 11, and this is work like um, that other so like a pro members have made here is an inside view of it and patsy just took flesh colored lycra or no she actually sorry she used ultra suede and drew her design on it and then cut out the excess so you could also just do that you could take a nice sturdy piece of fabric that um is um, sturdy but not hard like boning and then literally draw whatever lines you want to on it and then all it has to do is just go clip or two hooks right underneath the wrist mm -hmm. so you could absolutely do that i think there's been some more of these posted in the facebook group since then i can go look and see what i can pull off so you could totally do that if you did not want to a mess with the boning, though I do think the boning is a great idea. And Sigrid, Sigrid's idea of doing some boning, some elastic on the lower third, so your hand can bend and flex is a great idea. Even simpler, though, is literally just to take some sturdy fabric, two or three layers of lycra, or ultra suede, or it could be upholstery fabric, anything that you have that is in a skin tone, of the person wearing the dress or the accessory, and then just literally cut out the lines that you want. Or in Patsy's case, she drew her lines on there, rhinestoned it, and then went in and cut it out really tightly. So this would absolutely this is, work. Well, this, it looks like it's standing on a table, right? It's not laying flat. So the structure seems like pretty. Sturdy. Right. Um, I, it doesn't need to stand upright as long as it fits you. So it could be that it stood upright for two seconds long enough to take a picture. Or it could really be hard. I, I honestly don't have a clue. You could, it could be sitting on something and they um, photoshopped out. I mean, because like it looks a little bit blurry in the middle here, you know, so it could have been propped up on a phone for that matter. And they just went in and photoshopped it because it certainly does look like photo editing was done here. So what you see in the picture can certainly be an illusion. The real question is, how do you make it? How do you make it happen? I don't think it needs to be this hard. It obviously, the entire thing cannot be hard because it has to fold around the wrist and clasp, right? So the only thing that can really truly be hard is this piece at the center, you know, that's where bone is that, and bone can't move. These little area where the hooks are can be pretty firm, but it doesn't have to be um, stiff enough to make up make it sit upright. They do tend to, once you've got solid rhinestoning done, the rhinestoning will make it stiffer and it literally could have sat there just long enough for a picture. Yeah, I could probably make this bracelet sit upright for a few seconds, just long enough to take a picture. This is on an armband. I, my guess is this was sitting on something. Okay. Anybody have any other thoughts? might not be cut from one piece, but several. And if you then join them in this kind of angle, then it might also have a bit more structure with sitting upright, but I don't see the use in doing that as opposed to just cutting it out flat. Yeah, I, I agree. Good assessment, Julia. Could yeah, you put floral wire in, you know, where the silicone is, like put floral wire that can- Oh yeah, that's a really good idea. So. They have and silver, you know, so it would blend right in. Mm -hmm. That could absolutely work because then it would be stiff yet flexible. Um, and that way you could do these little, like the one in the middle. 
Um, you could probably even do these little curved things. So I, floral wow is a great idea. And then if you've got the inside of the bracelet made, um, where's the picture? With silicone on the inside, then you could, it would, the silicone would basically hold the floral wire to the fabric. And come to think of it, there is also, here we go, get a grip sock. <laughs> this is a fairly new item that the sticky things that you put on the bottom of your socks so you don't slide when you walk, you could also use that as a non-skid item to keep it to your um, feet. Somebody sent me this and I need to, I wanted to add it into the membership site, which is why it's sitting on my desktop. I don't know if it's thick enough to hold the wire to the fabric, but for sure, silicone would be. Where did it go? I'm on a different screen. Yeah, the silicone is definitely thick enough to hold the wire glued to the fabric. Yeah, okay. Great suggestion. That gives you several options there to proceed. Thank you. You're welcome.